I got a call one day, and a guy on the other end said, hello, I'm Dan, uh, Stanley Kubrick. I uh, was interested if you wanted to be my assistant. I said, okay, who is this? And it was Stanley. And I discovered later that Stanley used to sit at the back end of the theater that I was that I I was directing in, and that I it was part of the company theater company that I formed when we got to Hollywood. Um, and he was going with one of the actresses, and she never told us that he was sitting back there, and he wasn't the Stanley Kubrick uh, that he became later, but he was a a hot shot up-and-coming, pretty phenomenal success story. And we all knew who Stanley Kubrick was. Well, he, she didn't tell us that he was sitting in the back of the auditorium week in and week out, just absorbing everything he could. So when he asked me to become his special assistant, I ultimately realized why. He was working with Marlon Brando on a movie called Jax. One Eye Jacks. Thank Jax. you. Yeah. And he was working with the, the prince of the method and the Stanislavski system. So he knew that my background was that. So he, he had me, first of all, he hired me as a research uh, assistant. And I would spend hours in the Paramount Library, one of the most comprehensive film libraries, by the way, uh, or besides film, it was also literature. Uh, literature well to dig out of. Uh, one of the most comprehensive in the business. And I would spend hours researching the West. And I became a little bit of, a, of an expert on Wild West because he wanted, and he was, he's an impeccable researcher, and he goes for detail. I learned a lot from, from that association, short as it was. But then I realized there was a deeper value. He just didn't need an assistant to do that because he could have hired anybody. He, he would spend lunches and breakfasts with me, questioning me about certain specifics and certain elements of, of the Stanislavski system and the method. And, you know, and I told him, I said, look, it's, people are making a religion out of it, and it's not a religion. It's common sense. I said, you do it instinctively. I had seen Paths of Glory, The Killing. Uh, he was, uh, he had one other thing where in each case, in everything that Stanley ever touched as a director, the actors consistently had a very realistic and a very, a very believable uh, level of work. I says, you're doing and asking your actors to achieve precisely what anyone trained in the so-called method, would do. Uh, so you don't have to worry that Marlon is going to be somehow in miles in orbit above you in terms of that, because you don't need, you don't need special terminology. Marlon knows what to do as an actor. You just guide him as to which way, uh, in which direction to do it in. Uh, and that's all you have to worry about. Were you, ever, so, were you ever on the set? Did you see uh, any of the film? We never got to the set. Oh, okay. Before, you know, I enjoyed like five months, no, three months actually, through the pre-preparation and the preparation period. And two weeks before we were supposed to shoot the picture, Stanley got an offer from Kirk Douglas to do Spartacus. And he made it his he jumped at the opportunity to get out because he had begun to realize that Marlon was directing every line and changing every line to suit you know his his needs and that this was not going to be this is not going to be a joy ride mm -hmm. uh, for instance Calder Willingham who wrote the script I have lunch with him at the Paramount sometimes and he would just weep at, and, and say, and I called her Williams, one of the most noted Southern writers at the time, and a winner of awards and things like that. And he was a hell of a writer. But he, he was so frustrated because he said, Marlon changed every line of every scene I've written, 
He says, and I feel like one of the, the most overpaid secretaries in town. <laughs> and that was basically what Stanley began to realize, that he was also basically guiding Stanley where he wanted to do, which Mullen could do because of the strength of his, of his uh, persona and, and, and that, that charisma he had.